I opened my door and my door was just engulfed. It was engulfed in flames. I got my babies, I got my three-year-old and my eight-year-old, and I started throwing them out the window. Hard to imagine. First at 6 o'clock, some pretty scary moments this morning for that mother and so many other families when this Dallas condo complex went up in flames. Good evening. We appreciate you being with us tonight. I'm Doug Dunbar. This fire I speak of started just before 1 o'clock this morning, middle of the night, Sable Ridge Condominiums. That's right on Abrams Road near Northwest Highway. This is what it looks like right now after some 90 firefighters battled the flames. Chopper 11 and uh, was overhead a little bit earlier showing us a bulldozer tearing down what is left. In all 30 units are damaged. Damaged or destroyed, 90 residents, as we share this story, are now homeless. Live picture tonight from the complex. The sun has now set, and this is all that is left. It is where our Caroline Vandergriff will get us underway live tonight. Caroline? Doug, with just three weeks left till Christmas, dozens of families have lost everything. And for one mother, it feels especially cruel. She lost her son just two months ago at the shooting at the Texas A&M Commerce homecoming party. That's what I feel with. Nakima Alexander says she feels lost. I can't even cry no more, really. I just, I'm just, I'm sad. Like, I don't know what else. Why is happening to me? Like, why everything is back to back happening to me? Like, I don't know. Alexander is still reeling from the loss of her 23 year old son. Kevin Berry was shot and killed the weekend before Halloween at an off campus Texas AM Commerce party near Greenville. And now my house is burnt up. Like, I have nothing now. I lost everything, lost the sun and my apartment. Alexander's home went up in flames just before one this morning, along with 29 other units at the Sable Ridge condominiums. I just saw the flames and then our apartment started filling with smoke. Families thought they might be able to salvage a few things, but the building was quickly torn down for fear it would collapse. Alexander says all of her belongings, including what she had left of her sons, are now in this pile of rubble. This blanket with his photo is all she was able to grab before she left. I don't understand how it can it happen that fast. I don't know where to go. I, I don't know where to go. Alexander spent the day at the Red Cross Center they set up to help families impacted by the fire. But long term, she has no idea what she's going to do. She says for now, it's either between sleeping in her car or going to a homeless shelter. Live in Dallas, I'm Caroline Vandergriff. CBS 11 News. And it happens so fast. Caroline, thank you for the update. We do appreciate it. Our best for the families here.